You sure there's nothing else? Yeah, I've been having sleeping problems. Mental problems. About, About the, the case. case! Oh. Maybe you could talk to my therapist. She hypnotized me the other day. She might know something. Well, this should be fun. Just follow my lead. It's cute. Hello. How can I help you, gentlemen? Are you Dr. Klosenheimer? Yes, who's asking? We're detectives with the D.A.R.E. Division. The 90s anti-drug campaign? No, ma'am. We investigate AI crimes. No relation whatsoever to the D.A.R.E. program in the 90s. And what are you investigating today? We believe you're Seymour's therapist. He's an informant of ours. Oh, yes. Lister Wonderbread, is it? Well, it's just wonder. I know all about you two and your methods of questioning. Ms. Klosenheimer. Dr. Klosenheimer. Sorry, Dr. Klosenheimer, you gotta understand, the only reason that Seymour's not in jail is he uh, kind of sort of works for us. Be that as it may, your methods of questioning are quite uncouth. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually made of polyester. All right, you guys have 30 minutes and you're on the clock. Follow me. Why don't you have anything in your office? I find it helps put my patients at ease. Well, uh, I, I don't feel at ease. In fact, I feel the opposite of ease. Yeah, I, I second that. I mean, usually I picture a therapist's office as being like a warm, cozy, safe zone. Mm -hmm. Do you not feel safe? No. No, not really. No, no. not at all. Interesting. Uh, it's kind of echoey in here. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? No. But that cat clock kind of does. Interesting. We were told you had a hypnosis session with Seymour. We were hoping you could maybe tell us a little bit more of what he said during that session. You mean violate my doctor-patient confidentiality? Is that what you're asking me to do? No, that's... Well, yeah, yeah, it is a matter of national security. Oh, I see. So two bully cops come barging into my office and tell me there's a matter of national security. We're not bullies. You will speak when spoken to. Yes, ma'am. You will refrain from eating the ice cream? Yes, ma'am. This is how it's going to work. I will put you two under hypnosis. I will then reverse question you and insert any information I see fit into your mind. You mean like brainwash us? I wouldn't call it that. Let's just say I will get you the information you need without breaking my confidentiality. But you don't even know what we're going to ask. Information on food delivery robots, what they're doing, where they're going, who's operating them. Does that solve your worry? I guess, yeah, that's, so, yeah. You're, not, you're not gonna like put any, you know, weird things into our brains or something like that. Yeah, like triggers, right? Yeah, tr triggers. That's what they call them. Yeah. yeah. Of course not. Oh my god, oh, yeah. my head is killing me. What happened in there? What time is it? I think we just let a strange woman hypnotize us. Can't be all that. Think about it. Do we know anything about the case that could help us? Yeah. I do. The, the latitude and longitude of the location, the main house. It's in there. It's yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the location thingy, it's whatever in, it's it is. It's in my brain. I don't, know, I don't know what that means, but maybe, uh, maybe Kara could help us figure it out. Yeah. No, I think she could. Okay. She let's, go, let's go see her. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that.
This is, this is your car. That's me, that's you. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I'm all crossed up, man. All discombobulated. Yeah, my wires are just... She really messed us up, huh? She messed us up good. Scramble our brains. Oh, boy, who are you?